go. You guys ready for this? We're about to go right now. I absolutely adore chapel, but I think it's because of the worship. And so whenever they announce worship nights, I'm like, oh my goodness, I gotta be there. <laughs> and it's been great because of the bonfires that we're having and we're all huddled up and praising the Lord. And to think that we can just keep going on and on and worshiping the Lord with our voices and just exalting Him. And to know that it has to come to an end here on earth, but to know that we get to do that in heaven, like for eternity it's like you gotta be kidding me like i'm so looking forward to that and worship the lord the most beautiful way i'm always moved by tears just by hearing you know the beautiful words that we are singing on to him and it just makes jesus so much more alive in my life um through just hearing how sweet those words are to exalt him to the fullest. I really like the entrance uh, uh, when they had like a, what was the chicken wings <laughs> <laughs> uh, eating stuff and I like Zane's uh, 
uh, dance when he was like doing like this and uh, I really enjoyed that and it made my day and so often time I really think about them and I laughed so much. the work of the cross is and the resurrection in redeeming us in the eyes of God through Jesus Christ. And so 2 Corinthians 2, 1 through verse 2, and it says, And I, brethren, when I come to you, do not come with excellence of speech or of wisdom declaring to you the testimony of God, for I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And that was one thing actually that was really encouraging for me because he fills us with his spirit to be equipped to go out and preach the gospel. It's nothing of our own excellence or wisdom of speech as Paul states, but it's actually the spirit in us working to talk to each individual person for their story. It's not us, it's the Lord who's speaking through us to preach his word.
the funnest thing that like to me is was when they announced indoor classrooms and i was like yeah you know because uh we were we were exposed to the elements so i was freezing i was hot it was never like normal like and the, the wind and then there's always things going on and that's it's a small thing but you know it's 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 really a, a blessing and and i miss you, you never know how much you're blessed until you're without it. And, it. and it was simple things that I was without, like indoor classrooms, uh, coffee shop, you know, all just the little things that that um, God God really showed me that you know you know you're blessed, Rodney, right? And then He showed me through little things like that. I am personally so thankful to all of the students, obviously especially uh, the girls, um, for just really pressing in to the Lord this semester and being willing to go deeper with Him and getting to witness that in so many of the girls' and the other students' lives as well has been a true honor and it's encouraged my own faith and um, just such a blessing to see the growth that has happened because of that and it encourages me because I know that that is going to bear fruit for years to come in their lives. So, I am most grateful for my dorm group and just the fact that we're not only a dorm group, we're not only friends, but we're also family. And it's just a super chill and fun environment whenever we're in dorm group. I think one of the biggest things that I'm grateful for is just to see the Lord's faithfulness just throughout the semester, really just throughout my whole walk with Him. It's really cool to just see how He's continually working in each and every one of our lives. And as we continue um, to pursue Him, we know that He's going to draw near to us. Like it says in James, He who draws, or if we draw near to Him, we know that He's going to draw near to us. So it's just really cool to see His faithfulness and how He's just continuing to grow all of us closer to Him to glorify himself. This semester I'm really grateful for the people and the love on this campus and just to see the whole campus as this is my giant friend group. I, I can love so many people in here and feel at home like with wh whoever I'm sitting with at lunch uh, or at the library or the coffee shop. And so it's just growing to love all these different people and to be loved by them. It's really sweet. Fellow students, thank you so much <laughs> for who you are and for your heart to pursue God. I've never been, never been surrounded by so many young people who have that heart. I'm most grateful for the sounds that I hear on campus. Being able to hear students doing spontaneous worship nights, just singing songs to the Lord and playing volleyball, you know, screaming, yelling, having fun together out there, you know, sitting in my office with the window open, I could hear all that happening. And that's one of the things that I will always remember that I'm so thankful for is getting to hear those sounds of a campus full of life and Christian community again.
My theme verse has been 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9, where Paul talks about what Jesus said to him. Jesus said, My grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. For when I'm weak, then I am strong. And that's been what has impressed me is that I felt like I, my tank was empty to start off with and it was going to have to be all the Lord who made these things happen and so so I've really seen that, that because he loves the students and he loves the way that we're studying his word here I think he's given us his strength every day even when all I felt was weakness so thanks for being willing to to go on an adventure to do things different to be flexible and it's been absolutely wonderful having everyone back this semester and I'm so glad that we got to share it together that I got to experience this with you guys so thank you for every all the ways in which you contributed to my life and helped me and my family get through this year by being part of something meaningful with you. Thank you for being here.